Good morning, I've had my first night in my new room. I slept okay, very hot in here. I had to have the windows open. I'm gonna go out and have a quick look around now. Buckingham Palace, again, I know I've shown you this a few times in vlogs now. There's a cycling event going on this weekend. Got lunch, go and sit and eat it in front of the river and the London Eye. Okay, quick room layout change. Move my bed along so it's next to the door. Kind of looks a little bit weird here and doesn't leave much space, but it means I have much more space over this side. So when I'm sitting in my chair at my desk, I'm not squashed into my bed. And I can get to everything that I put here. And hopefully this works out okay because my parents are about to leave, so now I have nobody to help me move furniture anymore. And I'm in this apartment alone um, until Thursday when I'm going to Liverpool for Roger's birthday. Bye. Okay, I need to just keep unpacking. It's going to take me like days to unpack everything and get everything neat and tidy and organised but I've got the next four days by myself. I'll hopefully find some plans and some things to do in the next four days um, so I'm not just in the apartment alone the whole time. But for now, you start putting stuff on my desk and sorting all this out. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. I'm really hungry but I haven't got any food in the flat yet. Except I brought... <laughs> Two tins of soup and a tin of beans and sausages. Maybe I'll just have those for dinner and then go shopping for proper food tomorrow. Then I can unpack more tonight and relax because I'm exhausted. I'm trying to get internet sorted out because we don't have any internet in this flat yet. And nobody can come out to set up the internet. I don't know why they need to send somebody out. They just need to like give me the router and turn it on, whatever, the, whatever that actually happens. But nobody can come out until the 12th and it's only the second today so all of next week it's Sunday today so all of next week no internet I'm glad I'm going to Liverpool next weekend but still I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday with no internet here except tethering from my phone next thing to buy is a TV license we have a letter already downstairs um, saying that since you didn't respond to our last letter we've now launched an official investigation Maybe the previous tenants never bought one. I don't believe these official investigations. I don't believe anybody would come to the house like the letter says they will. Like somebody is on their way right now to your house to, to give it, there's like a thousand pound fine or something. If you haven't got a TV license and you're found to have a TV. And it's like even if you're watching it on your mobile phone or your laptop. But they can't prove it. They can't prove that you are. I don't believe somebody is going to come to my house and like confiscate all of my electronics and study them in such depth that they'll find out that I was watching TV a few days earlier, like just streaming it online. That's not gonna happen, is it? Nevertheless, we'll buy a TV license because it, it is a criminal offence not to not to pay for the BBC. I can smell a barbecue outside. It smells lovely, but I'm stuck with those tins of food that I showed you earlier. I've misplaced my better camera, the G7X. It's so hard to keep track of where everything is. I don't know where I've put it. Oh, is it in this bag? That I've been thrown around because I didn't realise it was in there. Yes, it is. Okay, that's better. I've got autofocus that actually works now. Right, let's make some dinner. And I am just awful at anything food related. I can't cook things. As you probably noticed from all the ready meals and McDonald's, that I ate over the last two years. I just, I could avoid in Cambridge cooking for myself and making my own food, but now I can't. So I think soup is a good place to start because that's really easy. Also, I don't have a microwave this year. I guess we could buy one, but there isn't one today. So that means I need to use these things. 
I did bring a couple of pans, but I don't know where they got put. They're in one of these cupboards. Oh my god, I'm... Is in that pan? I mean, there's that, so it looks a bit big for soup. Oh. There's one. Is that all I've got? This pan and that pan. I think people usually have more pans on there, but okay, whatever. I'm reading the sponge and washing up liquid. Already here. I'm sharing this flat with other people. This is not all for myself. Um, but I'm the only person here. Just add a minute. I'll get increasingly more adventurous with each meal that I try to make. Okay. So I guess I just pour it all in. That'll do. Don't overestimate my cooking abilities. This is literally like as much as I can manage. So it's gonna be difficult as I try to make harder things. And this is obviously very simple, but I'm sorry that I'm useless at this. I know this will annoy people. I don't know why, but I've just never learned how to cook. I did have to have cooking food lessons at school for two years, three years. But I hated them. I was always the worst person in the class at food. I was always good at like maths and science and even subjects like English, I wasn't bad at. But those food lessons we had, oh my god, I just was so bad at anything I made. And the teacher always used to hate how bad I was at it. I should probably like stir this, I need a spoon. How do I know when it's done? <laughs> In the microwave, I just have to do it for two minutes and stir it, then another minute and it's done. But I don't know why, I just never liked cooking food or making anything in the kitchen. I remember like the teacher getting really angry with me in like year eight or something when I was, what, 12, 13? Because I couldn't crack an egg without like getting a shell in. I would just make such a mess with the, the eggs every week. And she'd have to come and do it for me. It was really embarrassing and she'd be like, you're 12, 13 years old, you should be able to, I don't know how old I was, it was about that. But it's like, you're old enough to be able to crack an egg, you should be able to do this, Jake. But I couldn't. I don't even have any bread or anything to go with this. Maybe I'll need the other tin of tomato soup later because I'll still be hungry. But it's Sunday and shops are already closed because it's 6 o'clock, but it's fine. I'll go shopping in the morning. I can watch TV now because I've got a TV license. I have some lager. Beer has calories, doesn't it? Can I fill myself up with this? I do kind of wish I went to Sainsbury's earlier now. I thought I wouldn't be too hungry today, but I just, I haven't eaten enough. Well, I can't stay and watch TV all night because I've got a lot of unpacking to do. Because if I don't do it now, I'll not be able to get into bed tonight. <laughs> now this custom built thing to go under my desk is always a nightmare try to put up. It's a sheet of wood, which I tie lots of electrical things to, and then slot into these bracket things, and secure. So hopefully this doesn't snap while I'm doing it. There we go. So it looks a mess under there. Um, what I've got on here is a Thunderbolt dock a network switch, a Raspberry Pi, and then all the cables can go through that convenient hole in the corner. But it means like from up here, you just, you can't see it. Even if you go to the other side of the room, you can't see any of that stuff. Um, obviously I'll tidy the cables up and they'll all be above, on like the underside of the desk, strapped to it, then behind, and you don't see any of it. Um, so it's great. You have to like literally get down and look underneath before you see it, so it's a, it's a good way to keep it tidy. Hasn't caused a fire yet. The noise in London is something that I hate already. Um, you can hear that helicopter out there and there are just constantly people out there, sirens out there, police cars going past all the time, cars, everybody just beeps their horn as they drive in London. People are just crazy and noisy and just, there is never silence, which is what I'm used to. Back at home and in Cambridge, it was just silent, like all day in my room. Even with the window open, you'd hear like the wind, you'd hear the occasional bird, you hear the occasional person go past in a punt, but other than that it was just absolutely silent. It is never silent here. Central London, 24 hours a day, there is noise, and it is going to drive me mad.